yeah. That beat every time, man. I just be wanting to. So smooth. It, it's real smooth, dog. That, it's like a that slow feel, that feel like when they rib. used to that feel like when they used to like put like hardcore raps to like lo-fi beats. That's yep. what the oral beat feel like. Like you, was, like you play that beat and it's like uh mystical over the top of it. I make a motherfucker say, "Oh yeah." Oh, well, I'm cold as a lion with no hair. You ever see me fighting him. in the forest with a grizzly bear? Help the bear! <laughs> nobody, nobody else heard that no. freestyle. You no. never heard the no, mystical I freestyle. Not, I, I know you're talking. No, nah, that's such a great <laughs> freestyle. Yeah, I mean, that's one of my favorite freestyles ever. No, I was inspired by like her and Gala Matias and all them. Oh, like, like that's her. that was the that's what I what uh, I made I that like her. Yeah, <laughs> I like that, her. that whole vibe. Yeah. So just that kind of slower. Uh, like 110 BPM tempo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminded me of the strings. Yeah. Do all yeah. that stuff. Maybe yeah. I put it on the album. No, oh, thanks, man. By yeah. the way. Oh, I got to get oh. another track. By the way. Uh oh. What do we got? I guess we do got a little breaking news. Well, time to. Oh, oh, snap. This Friday, ladies and gentlemen, the single drops. Oh. Greatest ever drops. This Friday on all dsps pat the designer dan tanner Tana, dropping new music i'm back on the music game man Let's appreciate y'all for tuning in and rocking with your boy make sure y'all tap in with that of course it's gonna be in the community tab and all that stuff man Rock with stuff, check man. you out Rock with at least, out, at least man. just let me know if i suck Oh, no. no. I, 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 I know I don't, I but, uh, I know I don't, right, but you know. Right. Uh, shout out to Ebony Sales with the Super Chat. Said, as soon as the Bears smoke the commanders, they're not going to give the Bears their flowers. Smoke. They don't go back to say Washington didn't beat anybody. 100%. Yep. 110%. Post again. And that's how it goes, dog. That's how it goes. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's keep this thing moving along, though, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, showing love. Let's talk about, do the Bears have to go all in if they get to 6-2? and two? And the reason that I brought this up, we talked about this on the Bears podcast today. Shout out to Joe for correcting me, though. I think we said seven and two. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the phone with him. He's, he's like, like yeah, seven. I'm like, he's like, why? Why you say six and two or seven and two? He's like, what? Uh, what I'm like, hey, what's the, what the trade deadline? Hey, Fatboy Chodji said they sleep pack. Talk about help the bear, bro. That was such a great. That was such a great. Piece yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm Make a motherfucker say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cold as a lion with no hair. <laughs> you ever see me fighting in the forest with a grizzly bear? Help the bear! I gotta play that for you. Know, he said, "I'm harder than to watch a fellow watching Janet Jackson and Drowls." <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Mystico was, cr- never, was cold. Man. Mystico, yeah. I never, I got a little too rapey. Got a little too rapey. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but no, if the, if the Bears get to six and two before the deadline, do they have to go all in at the deadline? And the reason that I ask this question is because I think you have to think about your future with this team differently. I think you have to think about, of course, you're still thinking about the future. But if you get to six and two, you are in a legitimate playoff race heading towards divisional play. You are now one of the best teams in the NFC. You are now one of the best teams in football. In the NFL, yeah. Six you are a legitimate team that has a legitimate opportunity to win your division. Can you still think of everything you're doing in, well, we'll get it done next year? Teams that do that usually don't get it done yeah, next year. Yeah, they don't. They miss their opportunity. I just, that's a good question. I feel like it's more about organically building the squad. The whole issue is about the premature moves of trying to like overreact. We got to do this. We got to do that. Yeah. If you, I look at it like, like we, I think all of us have been talking about this, where it's like we have these picks. You got a first round. Actually, that's what we need to do. We need to put the picks up as a graphic. Bears first rounder. All of them. Bears yeah, second yeah, rounder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we all pick <laughs> all of them. Panthers second round. Yeah. Don't we pick? Then we pick up an extra. We're waiting to see if we get a fourth or a six. We get that fourth. We get that six. You never know. I mean, <laughs> if, 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 hey, uh, Weston had a great. Yeah, he he could have a re- right yeah, that that yeah, cap. Yeah. It could happen. You know. Right, we'll, not see. That he's, we'll see. We'll see. Joseph. I'll shoot him myself if I have to. <laughs> Take a trip down to Pittsburgh in a minute. I can't stand by. What What do you want, Bucky? We got to build the team. Like we, I'm not. I'm not saying. It. I'm not saying you don't. I'm because not saying you that. Gotta, you, well, you got to get the offensive line right. Yes. And you're not going to just sign all these magical offensive line coming out of nowhere. You can't afford it. I agree. With you, you have to draft. I agree with you. So that's all my thing. And, you know and I'm and I I'm here for that whole conversation. You know, I want the O line. I think that it is malpractice to go out and just say, we're going to trade for guys. Yeah. But I do think you have to have the conversation on your mindset has to change if you're six and two. 
you're not trying to build up. Well, if you're six and two, you built. Yeah, you're there. If you're, you're there. six and two, I get that you're there. Or you appear the to be rebuild's there. done. No, it, it, I no, it doesn't going. mean you don't have to add pieces. No, no, it doesn't mean you have to mortgage all of the picks. Yes, one hundred percent. And that's where I was getting at. If I mean, if Ian Cunningham leaves, there's compensatory picks coming. Like it's just let's just oh, say man, all these true. picks. Forget about yeah, that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. If if the if Forget the GM leaves, yeah. so let, let's just say, or the assistant GM. Let's just say you end up with these extra bevy of extra picks. Yeah, bevy. like that word. Two extra <laughs> picks. plethora, a plethora of picks. Uh, heavy. What is that plethora? <laughs> <laughs> if you end up with at least, if you are able to part with. The problem is you need at least three to four linemen alone next year. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Because <laughs> yeah. if you don't sign Dang Tevin, right. you, all you have is Darnell Wright. We're not, I we, agree with that. Are we actually going to stick with uh, Braxton Jones as the left uh-huh. tackle next year? I'm sure Ryan I mean, will think I mean, about it. I mean, Joe, listen. <laughs> We've been saying no for three <laughs> yeah. years, but he's still here. <laughs> sure but Ryan think about it. Up, right? He's see, not going to make that much. See that guy behind you there? Yeah, he, he, he's the decision well, he's maker. We've been saying no for three years, and he keeps showing back up to training yeah, yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying yeah, His that. affinity for Braxton is uh, on another Braxton level. Jones is the Patrick Williams of Patrick Williams. <laughs> I mean, he's I know I'm he's, on that he's, he's, a, he's solid or capable enough. The line has been better. line has been better. Yeah. Now, to, to me, what it means is next year. Are you signing Let's a see what lineman? Fifth has us at right. Are now. you signing a lineman next year and drafting two? Oh, I would assume you're that. signing one. Yeah, you you're, need to get you're probably points. signing one no matter what. I would also assume you're drafting. <clears throat> I would probably say you're signing a left guard if you needed to. Yeah. Or I mean, well, Ryan, Ryan, what's his name is here? Right? Maybe you, maybe you just Ryan stick. Bates. Ryan Bates is here. Maybe you just stick with yeah. with Matt Pryor in that situation, and you don't sign one. But I don't know what Bates is going to be. Um, You're definitely looking for a center so, upgrade. So next, I would say year. I would say center and left tackle are the two that you look to attack in, in the, the draft. draft. Yeah, so next absolutely. year, coming out, the number one guy is Zach Martin, who I think is on the Cowboys. He's thirty three years old. He's no. up in age. He's at 33. He's with, a guy who, who who would be a depth piece. We're not doing that. He's a, No, he's a depth piece is what Can't, I'm saying. No, he's a starting – he's just aging. He's one of the a, a linchpin on that Cowboys Yeah, line. but Zach Martin is very uh, – he, he's very uh, – what's old boy we had that just keep getting re-signed? He just you got re-signed talking again. talking about that. He's like 60. Tackle. He's yeah. like 60. Yeah. Zach Martin is kind of like that. Yeah, so you think he's an ageless guy that can go to four? I don't know about ageless, but, uh, but I, I don't think you. I don't think you sign up for five seasons. What but I'm, I think stopgap guy. What yeah. I'm getting at is okay, but at 33, I don't know about that as a guard. Maybe I'd rather go youth. Yeah, Cam Robinson, 29, as a left tackle on I'm Jacksonville. So yeah. Cam Robinson is solid. Yeah. Jacksonville has a solid O line. Yeah, Garrett Bowles is a left tackle from Denver. He's 32. Yeah, like I'm not Bowles. seeing in terms of. If I'm building this team, I don't necessarily – I mean, it, look, if you can get three to four years out of a player, great. Yeah. However, I'd rather draft and you pay a lot less. If you can get this uh, – you can get – if you can hit on these picks, that then you're saving a ton of money. That's why – Yeah, thing. if you can get, find like a Jason Bears, Peters Bears, type. Yeah, Bears old line, right? That Jason Peters was the name I was looking at. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I, Bears, I, I, I couldn't get the name. I was that. going Jackson for some reason. You know I love uh, a Jackson. Jackson Powers. You know, put the Powers <laughs> Jason Johnson Peters. on the table. Uh, Bears <laughs> O-line Peters. right now is up one. Hey. Uh, one spot. Uh, right. They're 18th. All right. Moving. 18th in the NFL we're right now, according to Pafif. Uh, but uh, I, I think I think here's here's my thing, and and I want to get your thoughts on this too as well, JC. Like, yeah. are you regretting it at the end of the season if you miss the playoffs by a game? No. Are you regretting it if if you're a 10, 11 win seat team and you miss the playoffs? And you could have added a piece to put you there? Yes or no, but now you're saying that one player makes all of that difference. No, I'm saying he makes up one well, game saying, that gets you there. And what's the you name, get though? To, what are, what are, what are, are, well, are we I, talking if, about if the we, obvious if, name if we, if we talk, If we're going all in, you're talking big. So we're talking You're Max, talking big we're names. We're talking Miles. We're talking You're talking names. Miles. You're talking Max. You're talking – to uh, uh, uh right. Trey Hendrickson, who's not oh, over yeah, 30. Yeah. Who you got? Yeah, twenty nine. I, <laughs> I, I checked it. I double checked. <laughs> you it. always age this man out. He'd be I like, thirty six. I'm like, like, he's over thirty. Like, no, Joel, he's just white. They don't age the same. Bro. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's different though. Oh. Uh, Can't get through my thick skull. Sorry. <laughs> 
But no, um, I, I think you're, you're talking big name. Heck, even it, even it, a so lesser Tavon Walker. Tavon Walker is a lesser name, but I think in my mind, right, you're talking about is there a game changing piece? Is there a difference maker out there that you can go get that I, make that gives you a game? And it, puts you in a position oh, where gives you a game like they impacted where they, they, they impact they, a game. Yeah, then I'm then I'm going all in. I'm going six all in. and two. They're they're a guy that impacts a game. Like you could sit there and look at it and go, he f the quarterback up today. Yeah. So as he, it stands, he literally single handedly won us the game. Yeah. As it stands, it the Bears have the first, their second, the Panthers second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, and the Dolphins six, and the Steelers six. That could become a fourth got three, as six? it stands. Yeah. yeah. A lot of six. Okay, yeah. a lot of six. All so right. I don't know if you can do a lot of damage. Well, I hope we don't get the last six pick. Well, the, we, yeah, we, we want that to be the fourth. Yeah, well, we, we got a six, get... six, six going on. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe that's what it costs to get a championship oh, in this city. <laughs> Bears Ryan Poles in the soul. Illuminati. I knew it. <laughs> there was no way we found a quarterback without the devil's help. Oh, I see the horse. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, so I don't know if, you, if you're able to mortgage and give away – the idea is to your point. If you give up your first round pick, because if you go yeah. all the way, it's only going to be worth the the twenty eighth, the 29th, yeah, and thir- the thirtieth, the thirty <laughs> second pick. Oh yeah. my god! You know, like that would be the case if that was to happen. But that's a big gamble. But the and only then, way and of the, impact is yeah. we're on the defensive side because you're not going to get a lineman to do that. I asked Pat this earlier on the morning show, but you still can if you hold on to that Carolina pick. Yeah. Right, that Carolina pick is the you the, can be thirtieth. In one in thirty and thirty one. That's true. That's true. Uh, what you was saying? No, that's true. No, I was saying I we we talked about this on the morning show uh, as, as a topic, but I wanted to kind of ask what your opinion is, Joe. Uh, if Pre- if probably a stupid one, probably a very very <laughs> good, wow. Whoa. Jesus, Jesus. Sorry, that, that was hurtful. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was very hurtful. Oh, oh my God. God. I, no, if, if, I forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> that was very quick. Uh, if you were to, let's say, we're in a position at six and two, or heck, let's just say seven and two, because I mean, what does that mean? That we're, we're going into the Patriots game? Seven and two is no, past the trade. Past oh, the trade. See, that's, that's why we said okay, it. Okay, that's why we said you. it. Okay, all right, I'm on track now. Six and two. And we're the, we're in a position where we get Max Crosby. Now you know the other team that's been been talking about trying to get him is Detroit. Detroit. So would you, and Mr. GM, would you also be strategic in playing keep away? Because not only are you worrying about this year, but when Aiden Hutchinson gets Aiden Hutchinson gets healthy, you're talking about facing both of those guys year in and year out for the next what three to four years together, probably or four to five years. And now you putting them on notice. They gotta play Montez Sweat, Javon Dexter, Andrew Billings, and Aiden Hutchinson for the next four years. Well, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Or in uh, in Max Crosby, whatever it is, but go ahead. Yeah. Well, the issue was like I was breaking it down yesterday. It, it, and if they can get creative with the cap, yeah. He's he has a big cap number as it stands for the next two, three years. Big Max cap says, guy. Yeah. So the point was Miles Garrett, that the way they have his ca- the contract structured, he's only getting like 1.2 million and 1.5 for the next two to three years. So they're doing the mm-hmm. whole like converting cash and paying mm-hmm. them out in the big bonus. That's okay. how he's making 20 plus million every year. So as on paper, I'm going for Garrett because he doesn't hurt your cap like that. Hey, man, Garrett at all. The Browns already paid probably paid him that money up yeah. front, kind of how they did DJ Moore. DJ Moore, yeah. So we're only like six million in the cap right now. So I'm not going for Max Crosby. And I heard something saying that Max Crosby was like, I'm a Raider. Of course, Everybody's that's what he's saying, saying right now. He's still Mac, a Raider. Max Crosby is still a Raider. He's he's not going to put himself out there. He but it's slow. He sees the right on the water. It's definitely okay. Y'all suck, and y'all probably going to end up moving on from me. Yeah. yeah, but overall, I mean, I would I'm gonna go for uh, Garrett. He's a year. He's a, now he's a year older than than uh, Crosby. Crosby's he's twenty-seven. Same, he's same age as Hendrickson. Cros- well, no, they're all. Well, no, he, he, all, he, he, he's twenty-eight. 28, he's twenty-eight. He'll yeah. be twenty-nine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're all about so. Um, and my thing is, Garrett is more of a – he's more of a guaranteed 14-sack guy, minimal. 14 yeah. sacks yeah. a I mean, year. Have you yeah. seen the tackle totals, though, from Max? Max is like a linebacker defensive end. He's gotten over 100 tackles in his, well, in that's his, in his season. the scheme, though, how they that, want you to I'm do fine, it. yeah. I'm just saying he does it all. Yeah, but Matt, the, the, Miles is literally – Are they in the 3-4? Are they in the 4 three, right? I think he's in the 3-4. Is he in the 3-4? He but, still can get to the But the, the point is, it's just like when Erlach was here, take a shot. Yeah. They, he, oh, he changed boy. from – he didn't get sacks Just anymore finished. because the scheme was for him to be coverage. Yeah. So you're not going to get those sack numbers. It's him fitting and fitting in, in terms of uh, the scheme that you're going to play. Yeah. 
Because that's why Ray Lewis is going crazy. You know what I'm saying? He's going crazy. No, they got true. a blitzer. They that's got to all that stuff. Here's a reason why, another reason why I would consider going all in. And I believe uh, like he hates Gary. he hates Miles Garrett. Dude, he's he a, doesn't like my, I guarantee you'll love him if he was here, though. He'll hey, be like, like I don't like, like him, but like, come good on, sack. Chris, you know, good and well. If Miles is on his team, he would be like, all right, okay, I'll give it a shot. I think he's like, still mad about the helmet to the head of old uh, Mason Rudolph out oh, there. Hang on. Hey, Miles was, was wild that on that. that, was that. Was I remember that. that. He was like, he was like, he called me the N-word. Every right, black right, dude on the Steelers was like, no, he didn't. Like, what is it? The Pouncey brothers almost pounced him. There's some old days playing against each other in yeah. college or high school. Yeah, back man, back. Man. I never liked that. But guy. V-Dog mentioned a point earlier where he said that you go all in because at this time you got Caleb on obviously his rookie deal yep. uh, being in the first yeah, year. So a lot of years. inexpensive you know, years there where you, you have that window of opportunity where you can bring in a lot of good big money players mm -hmm. to, to maximize the potential before you got to go all in because it looks like we're probably going to have to pay Caleb. You well, know, with the way this things, I'm just saying, you, you know, are. the way it looks. Well, hey, I, I like I like this comment from Chris. He said, I don't want a player that assaults another person. That's exactly the kind of player I want. I, I, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. All I, football I, 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 I assault every person. I, I, want, I, I, don't want school, I don't want school boys on my team. No, it's football. I, I want somebody where it's like, do we have to, like, put you Come up on, on murder man. charges, though? Come on, man. I think <laughs> every football player assaults every player. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Tackling is equal to assaulting. Hey, Joe. <laughs> that's crazy uh, calm down though <laughs> no to your point so we have to move on from nate davis because yeah. that's 10 million dollars that we got to get you know get off the books you got to start you're gonna have to move some what you may pieces. do in the trade and you may trade him anyway right so if you do trade him but now someone has to that's the definition that of a soft guy right there yeah, yeah. so uh, the idea is that you're still playing with the cap and what you can do miles garrett makes more sense to me just from a salary cap thing and if you do Max Crosby, he's still he's, he's like twenty four million uh, as a cap hit, and and Hendricks is fourteen You're, and a half. But, but I think the thing is too, right? What are you talking about adding for the offensive line, rookies? Right. Yeah. No, no. You, so you're saving them. And, and here's, and here's my thing. Again, right? I think you need to address your offensive line before you go all in. My point is, your mindset. That's my mindset at four and two. Your mindset changes at six and two. Mm -hmm. At six and two, how many teams are still up there with you in the NFL? Five, Kansas four? City, probably your yeah. division, yeah. your division, your division in Kansas Kansas KC, right? Probably, yeah. yeah. Like who's because because Washington, I think, comes back to earth They'll if, if you Buffalo, Buffalo, yeah. if you dominate. Who else is up there? Buffalo, Baltimore, yeah. Pittsburgh. I'm talking so, the top teams, but Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, Pittsburgh is at five and two. Yeah, Texas are five and two. <laughs> so you so you're talking still about crazy. Pittsburgh's five and two. Six teams in the NFL, and you're one of the top six, seven teams. Yeah, I like mean, you're at the top of the playoff race. Yeah, your mindset has to change in that situation yeah. because stop. you're in a different, you're in a different place than you thought you were going to be. In Ryan Pole's wildest dreams. No, no, actually, we're in Ryan Pole's wildest dreams if we get the <laughs> six and two. No, we're 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 in the wildest dream. We're technically fifth in terms of the records. But because of the standings in the division, we are seventh. But the way it lines up, we are right there. We're actually fifth in terms of the record. Oh, because we didn't play a game. Because, because, because we didn't right. play yeah. the bye week. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, in, right, in general, we are actually the top five in the NFC. But because of the conference, that division we're in, right. as it's slotted for the playoffs, we're in seventh place. Yeah. That's crazy. So, I, yeah, do you want to – your point is do we stay in the race and – if we feel confident that we have a quarterback that can take us deep into a play, playoff run, uh, I just don't want to sacrifice everything I, to, I think to get this. He, and, and that's the thing, though, right? We keep talking about it as a sacrifice. We keep talking about it as a you're not getting long-term value. Yeah. You get Miles Garrett, he's five years. Yeah. You get – Max Crosby, he's five years. Yeah. You get Trey Hendrickson, he's five. Trey Hendrickson has some injuries, so maybe that's a little but more you gotta questionable. Out pay these dudes. I, I agree with you. You have to get creative with the cap. I'm not saying, but m my point is, you know you're going rookies on one side mm -hmm. on the offensive line. They're cheap. Yeah. More than likely, you're not going to be in the lottery this year if, if things keep trending this way. Yeah. They're cheap. So, <laughs> I love that Crimson is really trying. <laughs> Crimson. We, we Crimson. have no control Crimson. over what Crimson. Ryan Paul hey, I love it. I saw this comment. He's like, hey, Pat, you really want your kid idolizing someone like that? You want kids in Chicago growing up idolizing jerks and aspiring to be jerks? 
Crimson. Jesus. Have you seen some of the players that we cheered really, for? Really don't like Miles Garrett. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, maybe it, he gets a clean slate. Hey, he hey, gets here. first off, know. first off, you know what the goal is, Crimson? You be a good enough parent that your children don't idolize athletes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I, I, I am I, proud to say growing up when they used to ask who you look up to, I my was dad. Like, my dad and a little bit of Michael Jordan. But, <laughs> mainly my but mostly my dad. My dad. Right? My dad you be a good great. enough parent that your kids don't look up to only yeah. athletes. Yeah, yeah I love the fact models. that the Cubs won the championship <laughs> in 16, but uh Hey, I didn't. I didn't mind the role this Chapman. You know what I mean? That, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't mind the role this. Thanks for your contribution. Hey, yeah, now yeah. that he's gone, oh, look at this right. guy, yeah. you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, were you a big Addison Russell guy? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> not, not Choose not your words question. wisely. Bad man. But no, I just, I, I, I think it, my point in all of it is right now the mindset that we have. I think that you're not wrong. I think you don't go all in. If you get to six and two, I think we're having a different conversation on this. Well, I mean, it's next week, right? Is it November 9th or November, November 5th? So it's the same day as voting day? Yes. Get out of here. Are you trying to distract you? <laughs> All in on the trade deadline, but also. <laughs> Who won? <laughs> v- that happened? They're v- eating v- the cats. The they're, they're eating the dogs. So frugal, they're they're, they're eating the, the geese. John Lee's and talent year over year and still competitive on a yearly basis. I'm not necessarily being frugal. I'm just trying to be smart. I'm not saying that. I understand if you have the team fully built, like what Ryan Pace did. He 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 gave up two picks to get Mac. He figured I got my quarterback, I got my line, I got the defense, and that's what you did. But the issue is, did you build a team sustained to actually have a run? That team was done pretty much after the next year. Yeah. So you could do that, but what is it? But, with but those why picks? though? Well, that team was uh, done. It wasn't just the Mac it was, move. It was all of it. It's the you went all in on Mitch. You had already gone and traded picks to go get Kevin White. You yeah. had already traded picks, and we trade picks to go get Roquan. No, we, no. But did Roquan we get Roquan straight out? He was like no, we drafted draft. him from Georgia. Yeah. I know we drafted him, no, but, we, we but, you, but did, we didn't move up for him. Mm-hmm. Like you, no, you had no, already no. traded picks in that draft. He was ninth, I think. And moved up. So you were like in this situation where the cupboard was bare. Well, he, you had to take a swing. Well, remember he. Pole, pay shorted himself because he traded just to move up to get Trubisky in the first place. That's what I'm so saying. You lost three picks there. Right. Then you also lost picks when you traded to get Max. So that's two first rounders. Yeah. So you you did a lot of gambling. So like, I'm not trying to say, uh, I'm not trying to be frugal. It's just being smart. The whole point is that who's coming out next year as a free agent that you can sign on offensive line. Who's going to be available in the draft, and how do you predict where you're going to fall? If you're sl- if you're predicting or sliding to be in the late teens, early twenties, yeah. What linemen linemen are there that you think you can get? Just because linemen are there doesn't mean they're all going to be good. So 100%. you, you got to get three of them at least. So yeah, if we go and trade these picks and go get um, Miles Garrett, or even let's say fine, go ahead and get a uh, Max Crosby, Max Crosby, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hey, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, yeah. Crimson, yeah. he's right. Uh, that joke <laughs> broke his jaw. Were they off? They were off Wait, on vacation. Technically, it didn't happen that way. Broke my, he, that joke got his huh? mouth. Fred Miller has <laughs> his mouth wired shut. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> so, no, the point is that it, 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 you're building. This isn't necessarily just, yes, I get it. You want to win and try to win this year. Yeah. But you're also trying to build a team. We want to have a Kansas City Chiefs run. We want a Patriots run. Yes, you got bro. 10 we years, 15 years of a, of a new Tom era Ray. of Chicago But Bears here's the football. thing. You're in that not be, because of the quarterback. If you got the quarterback right, you're in we, that. We got it, yes. Look exactly. at Kansas City. Yeah. Kansas City is not an offensive team right now. No, no, no but what, what Kansas City had been building their team, they but, got fortunate and then they got 100%. But Kansas City went to the Super Bowl with no tackles. Kansas City a went a couple to, times. The, right. <laughs> Kansas City in the Super Bowl last season did not win that game solely on the on, actually didn't win that game because of their offense. Yeah. You go back and watch that Super Bowl and watch what Chris Jones was doing yeah. the entire time. So what I'm saying is Right now, it, we're so ready, and, and I think it's funny that people are like, when are we going to go all in on the offense? We have like four wide receivers on this team. <laughs> Cole Komet is legitimately catching 90% yeah. of the targets that he's getting from Caleb Williams. Yeah. Like, we, we've gone heavy on the offense. I'm not saying you don't need more offensive linemen. What I'm saying is don't be surprised if we get to 6-2 and two and you're having the conversation on you could build the best defensive line in football. 
You could build the best defense. If you already, in my mind, you have the best defense in football. I you do, do that, that, you have no question yeah. that you have the best right. defense in football. Yeah. I, I think that it puts you in a more, in a different situation, especially with you drafting rookie offensive linemen. Yeah. They're not going to cost as much. Right. And I think the conversation is just different because now you're saying, okay, yes, we're here on the defensive side. Some of these guys are going to age out. Some of these guys are going to get hurt. So, Some of these guys are not going to get paid. And then we got to pay the big names on the offensive side. But your offensive names are paid. DJ Moore's paid. Well, mm -hmm. if you do the Garrett trade, you give up two first. So we still got two seconds, right? The idea is that if you keep Garrett with this contract as it is, you know, you pay him his bonus up front and he's only 1.2. The cap is very friendly and you've basically stacked your squad. I'm okay with that. No. If I got to give up ones and twos and all these, like I'm coming in a draft with two number two picks, right? Mm. So uh, maybe a, uh, so that we think it's a 33rd pick with Carolina. Yeah. And then probably like the uh, 56th pick in the second round. Yeah. So you could get two starters out of there. That's two starters. You could. Maybe a third. In the third round, and you got to do. And that's at it. the end of the day, you just got to do your job right. Of course, yeah, yeah that's Scouting, what it comes down to. You gotta be and, and you, and you sign, and you sign one of the offensive linemen that ends up coming out. And now you got a totally rebuilt line. You got Garrett. You only, you gave up your first round this year, and then first round in the, the next year. If that's how it could play out, yeah, yeah. No, I listen. I, let us know your thoughts. I think it's a good conversation to have. I think that it's one of those where you you look at it and you. If we get to six and two, we're we're very tingly boys. That that well, okay. So what my thought was, it's about the scouting of the blue chip player. That's all it was. Yeah. Like going into the draft is not about just drafting anybody. It's getting that guy. Like when you knew Quentin Nelson, for example. Like I knew he was the dog when he oh. was coming into the draft. Like that is an all perennial, all pro guy. They're talking about him being the he's the first guard off in uh, off the board. Yeah. yeah. Like if there's guys that they can target like that. Then yes, yeah, it makes all the sense in the world. So if Miles Garrett is is rated one of those top guys, if Max Crosby, they all is are. rated They're, that guy. Every, every, everyone we're talking about is a yeah. blue chip franchise changing player. <laughs> yeah, by literally none of them are. Well, those three you're talking about Trey and the other two. Uh, I don't know about the other guy from was it Jacksonville? The guy that was talking about potential. No, no, Trayvon's more of a Trayvon. Yeah, more, is it? Wasn't he a top pick? He's average. No, he was number one. He it was, was a horrible hit. draft. That was the number one pick. He was a, it was a horrible yeah. draft, though. <laughs> Boys, I don't know if he. I don't know if he's average. That I mean, team's I, I'm weird. About, well, you know what? No, that I, I team is that weird. Back. Eleven sacks in the last eleven games, I believe, was a, was a stat that yeah, I saw I with know, him. I don't know about average. <laughs> yeah, he's not average. I shouldn't say average. But he's got I think six sacks right now. He's well, he's not him? what he was supposed to be. Is what I, I I guess what I'm saying. When you're talking about a first overall pick, you compare him to Max and Miles Garrett. He's not them. What's his name again? Trayvon Walker. Oh, Walker. Trayvon. You know, John Walker. Josh Hines Allen has kind of shadowed over him a lot. And, you know, and yeah, for sure. No, for sacks. sure. I, I listen at the end of the day here. My big thing with with this team, my big thing with where I want this team to go is make decisions that, yes, you can still make good decisions in the future, but that can impact winning now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you can do that and get one of these names in here. I think it's six and two. You kind of got to do it oh, man. because who are the players you're worried about? Let, let's be real. And, and then we got to get up out of here. We'll, we'll talk about the, the, the uh, uh, running back con or the run game conversation tomorrow morning on the morning breeze. Make sure to tap in with me and Jordan JC at six 30 uh, tomorrow morning, six 30 to seven 30 Monday through Friday. Every time we do the morning breeze, shout out to y'all for rocking with us over there. Yes, sir. If you think about the teams we're worried about, the players we're worried about are quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. The players we're worried about messing what we got going on up over here are quarterbacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm more worried about Jordan Love than I am about the Packers defensive line. True. I'm more worried about Jared Goff than I am worried about oh, yeah. the Aiden Hutchinson list defensive line for Detroit. Good point. Yeah. Brian Flores is blitzing. <laughs> So maybe I got to worry about that. But he's sitting in the house every play. He's engaged, Jake, getting down there, kill that guy. Like, you just got to figure out how to navigate that. I guess on that team, I'm more worried about Justin Jefferson than I am worried about anybody else. But I got it. I got I got a Jalen Johnson for Justin Jefferson. Yeah. So, so if so the, the people that I'm worried about disrupting are the quarterbacks, can mm -hmm. I do that this season? 
Can I do that by adding a piece that has them now living with the thought in the back of their mind, like, where am I supposed to go? Mm -hmm. I got Javon and Billings coming up the middle. I tried to run left. Oh, snap. What the heck is Garrett doing on this team? Now I'm going the other way. Montez, oh! <laughs> Montez, fire! Then you got Kyler screaming through one Yeah, of Kyler over. Gordon coming through. Foul! Oh, God! Dude. My leg! Dude. No, I, I, anytime I can make the team better and doesn't sacrifice you know, the future of the team, fine with me. I'm just saying that I just don't want to see mortgage everything. But if we can get a blue chip player like that, that'd be great. Great. It's at six thirty five ish. Talk about the, oh, talking about talking about the morning breeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six thirty five ish. He ain't lying. We we always start a little. Late. Hey man, listen. Late. If we if we get on the network, we'll be perfectly yeah, on time lying. every single you time. Lying. By the time I wake, it's like seven. seven I ain't gonna lie, we thought about a seven o'clock start. Do we? Uh, we they may. Did like we the may. Seven o'clock. They was messing with the seven o'clock start. We, we may have to test another seven o'clock start out. Oh, I'm with that. Yeah, with that. that. With that. Well, I was doing it because of you, you with the gig. Yeah, that might be cutting it close. Yeah, that's a, that. we'll that's a little close. We'll see. That's a little close. Things might be changing yeah, with we'll that later. anyway. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> see what life takes us. <laughs> hey, I'm fine. <laughs> Hey, man, appreciate y'all for tuning in and showing love. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know where you think the Bears should address most if they do address anything at the trade deadline. Let us know your prediction on this Commanders game. We're going to go watch some football, man. Appreciate y'all oh, for yeah. tuning in and showing love. For the super producer, Joel Holtz, and Mr. Media himself, Jordan J.C., Schmoy Pat, the designer, back at it again. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Bear down. One love. Peace. Oh, yeah. I show make Vay some love tonight. So, like I was saying, uh -oh. a massive chicken breast. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, the, the, before the show started, oh, remember I was talking right, about that man. huge. I'm talking about tit. And then all of a sudden, there's a waffle next to it. Phenomenal work. Yeah, we gotta get some something to eat. <laughs> I'm very hungry. Put your pants back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.